Today we are here at Woodward Park, joined by Mark Bays, and actually many other arborists are out here as well for a workshop specifically about tree decay, right? Yeah, there's, uh, this spring has really been a hard year for trees in Oklahoma. We've had the tornadoes come through and ravage a lot of trees, but even it's so windy uh, in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. we do see a lot of problems with trees sometimes failing in high winds. One of the things we're learning about today is decay in trees. And so, I mean, homeowners obviously have concerns, especially if they're looming over their house, um, but there's a lot of technology. It's not just a matter of looking at a tree and seeing that there might be a hole, right? Yeah, well, there's a lot of, uh, and the things that we're gonna learn about it, there's some visual indicators that okay. the homeowners can look on their tree to say, oh, my tree has this, uh, there could be a problem with that. Uh, but it might not be as necessarily as severe as they might think. Okay. So the purpose of this training today is we brought an international group of speakers to come into Oklahoma and teach us uh, about how our arborists could be better skilled at identifying decay, uh, whether or not that decay is or is not a problem. Right. And we even have uh, one of the developers of the resistograph here. He came all the way over from Germany uh, to here to Oklahoma to teach us a little bit more about that. That's fantastic. And so our basically our arborists who are gonna help us when we have tree damage are learning some of these different tactics to help homeowners. Yeah, we've never had this level of intensive training about tree decay in Oklahoma ever. That's, that's what's so great. That's exciting. And, and so now our tree care specialists all across the state we'll be in a better position to advise those homeowners that have concerns about their mm -hmm. trees and they'll just get a level of training on tree decay that we've just never had. And I think that's just really a cool thing. And of course, whenever there is storm damage, we always tell people to find a certified arborist, an ISA certified arborist. Yes. Um, and so this is the training that they are getting, right? So yeah. it's not just somebody with a chainsaw. It's not just somebody with a chainsaw. And uh, so anytime you have any work done on your tree, always uh, make sure that it is an International Society of Arboriculture, ISA certified arborist, because not only do they have to take a very intense intensive uh, uh, test to become certified, mm -hmm. but they have to take continuing education. And this is why we brought this training to and Oklahoma. It, well, Mark, this is exciting for everyone here in Oklahoma. And I'm gonna go check out some of the workshop if you don't mind. No, let's go. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.